In this video, I'm going to show you how to find scholarly articles on your topic. So if we look at the research guide I created for your class, if you click on the Find Articles tab, you will see a list of the databases that we recommend for students doing research in art history. And databases are just collections of information, so we pay for these collections. And you look at a different collection depending on what you're researching. So you guys are art history students, and I would say that the place to start is art and architecture source. Now the thing that can be tricky for some of you are that sometimes there's not a lot of scholarly literature written on women artists. We, that's why you guys are studying to be art historians to fix that, right? So um, all you can do is do a simple search for your artist name. We can see what comes up. And if you can't find something in this database, there are some other places where you can look. But for me, I'm researching Louise Bourgeois, so I'm going to do that same kind of simple search I've been doing this whole time. Um, and I put her name in quotes to make sure I only get articles that talk about her, not a different artist named Louise or a different artist with the last name of Bourgeois or an, an author or something like that. So I get 838 results, and what I need to do now is limit my results to make sure I'm only seeing articles I can read, so I limit to the full text. And now I'm going to limit to peer-reviewed articles. This will ensure that everything that comes up um, is a scholarly article. Now, art historians write in all different kinds of languages, so if you're lucky enough to read Spanish or French or German, you're going to have way more options than those of you who are like me, who can mostly read only English, right? But when I scroll through here, there are a lot of results. You know, so I was not a surrealist. I was an existentialist, you know, looking Louise Bourgeois reconsidered, right? That looks good to me. Um, if I open up the article, if I look over here where it says PDF full text, I can pull down the full text. And now that I have it, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to read through it and see if it's answering the questions that I like. Um, and if it does, what I can do is I can print it. I can download it. If I use these icons on the right, I can send it to Google Drive. And this icon right here is going to give me the citation in Chicago style, which I think will make all of you guys really happy. Um, if we go back um, to the record for this article, you're going to see something interesting. So on the PDF, um, I couldn't see the images, but I can over here. Right, and so you can kind of click and see these images larger and learn more about it, right? How do I get out of that? Ah, there. Okay. Yeah, and here's another article on her. Now, for some of you, it won't be so easy. There won't be so many articles on your artist, and then you're going to want to look in different places. And so some other places you might want to look, and you'll need to check with your professor as to whether or not you can use the sources. Um, you can look in Academic Search Complete, and this will allow you to limit to scholarly articles um, in a bunch of different fields. So it, there could be research done on your artist outside of the field of art history. Um, this also contains popular um, articles too, like Time Magazine or something else. But it could be interesting for you to see, like, what do people in women's studies, for example, think of Louise Bourgeois? This would be where you would look for that kind of um, scholarship, right? And the same thing, you would limit to full text or peer-reviewed. Um, another place you might want to look for some similar kind of take on it would be Gender Watch. This is all about when, you know, it talks about issues from the context or the lens of women and gender studies, right? And all of these databases work the same. Yeah. 
and you can limit the full text and peer reviewed. Right, and the same thing, download the PDF, site, email, print, all the same options. So I hope these resources will make it easy for you to conduct your research for this class. And just to remember, if you get stuck or feel frustrated, please do not hesitate to contact me or the librarian on, on duty and let me show you how to do that. Um, so you have a link to my chat widget um, in your course. But let's say it's, you know, nine o'clock at night or Saturday afternoon, I'm not working and you need to talk to someone right away. You're just going to click this little link here where it says chat with the librarian and the librarian on call will be able to help you right away. So I wish you good luck for your class and do not feel weird about asking me for help.